Hey everybody, Guns and Undercover. Today is Friday, January 25th, 2019. It is a sunny, windy, cold day here in New Jersey. Temperatures in the mid to upper 30s, but at least the sun is shining. There's no rain and there's no snow. So we got another Blue Zero Hero story. This one is coming out of Middletown, New York. Now originally I thought it was Middletown, New Jersey, where I near where I'm at. This story was brought to my attention by one of our subscribers, and uh, so we're going to read the story to you. This one is reported on uh, News 12 Westchester. Uh, yeah, News12.com. I'll put the link in the description for you so you can go read the whole story. And it's uh, entitled as following. Ex-Greenberg officer killed his wife himself in Middletown. And there it is, just so you can see what it looks like. So let's read what this Blue Hero Zero did. Middletown police say a retired Greenberg police officer fatally shot his wife Tuesday before turning the gun on himself. Police responded to 70 Vincent Drive, Middletown around 8 p.m. Tuesday after a female neighbor said she found 55-year-old Francis Pamillo and his wife, 45-year-old Amanda Pamillo, dead in their garage from apparent gunshot wounds. The neighbor said she went to the home because Amanda Polino, Pol Pomillo did not show up for work at his local hospital. Neighbors who knew the pair say they bought the house years ago, but Frank Pomillo recently came back after moving out. It's the second apparent murder-suicide in Middletown involving a member of law enforcement within the last eight days. Police say the gun Pamillo used was legally owned by the retired officer and that the couple were alone when the deadly tragedy unloaded. Well, what can I say? I mean, I say this all the time. You ladies, you get involved with these uh, police officers. you It's a crapshoot. And this time it resulted in this lady getting uh, killed, you know, instead of the usual beaten up kind of type of thing. This guy shot her, but he did us all a favor and shot himself. So once again, you know, that domestic violence is a much higher rate with police officers. I don't know why it is. I mean, uh, they make good money and uh, it's not like they got to work too hard. But sometimes I think because a lot of them have that... Uh, dominating personality where you know they got to be in charge and uh, be bossy and all that and uh, you know you get a woman who gets a little fed up with that she's not so passive and she gets fed up and then maybe the cop or the retired cop doesn't know how to deal with that you know you see it in the videos when uh, citizens exercise their rights against officers the officers heads start to explode they don't know what to do and I sometimes wonder if that's the same Scenario that happens here that causes them to snap and beat their wives up and in this case shoot their wife that the wife is uh, Standing up to them and had enough and uh, they, they they resort to the one thing they know to do which is violence. Well the one thing they only know to do which is to uh, Become violent use violence as a way of resolving problems because uh, You know most of them are big guys and big guys learn at an early age that uh, violence solves problems all right, so I'll put this uh, in the description box. Let, you can read it. Let me know what you think about the story in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. And the uh, channel's growing, so that's great. I'm, I'm happy to see the channel is growing. And uh, I don't know more I can say other than that I'm happy to see it's growing. And uh, we're still waiting to see if a gun is in on the cover. We'll come back online. I don't expect to see that happen until the beginning of March, if it will happen. And Gunnison Undercover Facebook page will be back online next Friday. I'll be able to respond to your to your responses and questions and messages. Uh, right now, people mess me and I can't respond. So I'm not ignoring you. I just can't. And uh, if you got a Blue Zero Hero story that I should know about, it might be of interest to everybody, just uh, drop me an email or put it in, uh, in the comments section because I read all the comments. And uh, if it's good, I'll... Uh, I'll do it. And if you know a good cop story where you got a cop being a human and he's uh, doing something that's uh, noteworthy, we'll give it a shot. We'll see if we if we like it, we'll we'll uh, do a story on it. 
Till next time, be well, be safe, and as always, watch the police. They gotta be watched. That's the only way they're gonna behave themselves. Till next time, people.